We only have one life to live, and we would like to make the best out of each day. Each day, we wake up to new opportunities. Some are minor, others are life-changing, and we are to decide which to take, which not. Keeping in mind that some of the choices we make today might block the opportunities we would be given tomorrow. As it's been said, and in life, it's all about choices we make and how the direction of our lives comes down to the choices we choose. So it really is all about making wise decisions. But the question is, how can we make good choices today if we don't know about the options of tomorrow? How can we make a decision and not say later on, I wish I hadn't signed that paper. I could have now been, or how could I miss that opportunity only if I knew? Imagine you're inside a huge football field. There are 16 other fields around you. You see robots everywhere carrying huge shelves around. And then you realize they're stopping every now and then to recharge their batteries from charging stations. And then you realize you're inside the world's biggest Amazon warehouse in Texas. Since 2014, Amazon has deployed more than 100,000 robots in 25 of its warehouses worldwide. It's probably here where some of the products you've ordered have come from. During holiday rushes, more than one million items per day are sometimes shipped from here. But how does Amazon do it? How does it ensure timely delivery, although it does not know our orders in advance? Behind this huge success, there must be something powerful. It's February 2, 2012. I receive an email. Dear Christine Markarian, it is our pleasure to inform you that you have been accepted to the PhD program of computer science at the University of Paderborn. Please sign the attached documents and return them in one month. To them, it was just an email. <coughs> to me, it was a life-changing decision that had to be made. I was supposed to decide if I want to leave my family, my friends, my job, my life, to a completely new one, new culture, new language, which I knew no word of, knew everything. Overwhelmed with a lot of thoughts, mixed feelings, and worries, I finally made up my mind. And it all started there. When I signed those documents, booked a one-way ticket to Germany, and decided to start a new life there to pursue my PhD studies. There, at the university, I spent three months not knowing what my PhD would be about, until I was introduced to something called online algorithms. These are scientific approaches, first introduced in the 1980s, that make provably good decisions when the future is unknown. In many new world business applications, there is a need to make a decision in the present without knowing critical information about the future. Like, for instance, a company will have to know how much to order from each product without knowing everything about future demands, an online algorithm would make such decisions that can be shown to be good in both theory and practice. I'm pretty sure we had all been in a situation in which you had to make a decision with your eyes closed to the future. In some form or another, you tried to analyze predict, compare the consequences of the choices you were given 
until you made a final decision which you hoped you won't regret. Online algorithms can measure your regret mathematically. With online algorithms, one is able to know how good or bad the decision was at the time it was taken. Having struggled with decisions almost all my life, like many of us here, I realized that designing online algorithms for such applications is what I want to do for my PhD. And that's how I spent my next three years in Germany. We all wonder about our mistakes. We wonder, why couldn't we just make perfect choices? Well, you know what? There is no such thing called perfect decision. Even in the language of computer science, and particularly online algorithms, when we make a good decision, we say it's optimal. We don't say it's perfect. So how about waking up each day and trying to make it an optimal one, with optimal decisions, rather than a perfect one, with perfect decisions that do not exist. Thank you.